Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are continuing on with, um, I've got to check a name again. That's right, Pen... Penthesilia. Penthes... Pen... Old Penty. Old... Old Pentho. Pen... Pencil. Pencil. We're carrying on without pencils. Yes. I was going to end the turn. Okay, recruit a mythical unit. I don't... I, I don't want to. Ah, <sighs> the only ones I can do cost me gold, don't they? I'm pretty sure. Let's check, actually. Uh, oh, no, I can't get harpies now, actually. I can't get harpies. It cost me bronze. Which, again, I don't have 100 bronze per turn to spend on that. So, um, no, then, I guess. What a hassle. Your forces may be uh, greatly strengthened by the recruitment of mythical units. Units may be recruited by selecting an army and clicking the Recruit Unit button. Yep. Yep, I had I had noticed that. I had noticed that. Also, uh, I was actually going to upgrade this, wasn't I? Yes, I was. I've got a few other bits I can upgrade, though. Extra armor and damage for all of my units sounds rather nice. But uh, we'll do that after we take this settlement. So this one is going to be walled, but there's not a lot going on here. I think we can afford to this jump straight it. in. Although, wow, this garrison's actually pretty good. These are quite good units, the shielded spear warriors. Not half bad at all with their horrible anti-large bonus. My the anti anti-horse damage. I don't like it. Um so I guess we just can starve them out again. Kill the lot! <laughs> I'm such a jerk. Show me blood. I love it. Uh I can't upgrade stuff right now though, can I? No. Not while I'm here. Yeah, yeah, not while I'm doing this. That's fine. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so what's really nice is obviously as we just sort of sit here, this this goes down, and I don't like that, and, you know, I should just be going a bit quicker here. But we're actually just going to get a huge bonus, 230 from here, from raising the settlement. So I can afford to, can you know, them. be pretty pretty lax about taking this one out, because we're going to max this out, I think. So, um, so that'll be good. Then we can really get the pace up, because we'll get just a bunch of additional uh, bonuses, which is really good. Also, that last battle we had, we didn't bring any Blood Oath things in. Did I miss the button to do that? I don't know. I really need to actually pay attention to that, Don't to that mechanic, back. and, you know, figure out what the hell it is. Anyway, um, uh, oh, I think we have to enable it by clicking that, and then maybe it spends some. Yeah, maybe that's how that works. Massacre them. I'm sure you guys know by now. Like, this, it's not, the embargo hasn't happened yet. I'm sure you guys have seen other, like, live streams and things by now, but, uh, yeah. I haven't. <laughs> so, you know, this is still uh, two days before the embargo, right? There's no other information out there. It's just what I can, you know, gather. So, um, anyway. Uh, right, they want to give me food for stone. I don't want to give you my stone. My stone is valuable to me. I can only get it through murder. Although it does encourage me to murder, so maybe I should, maybe I should just give all my resources away. Um, and just, uh, it'll encourage me. <laughs> hmm. This is good. Uh, build me a mighty ship and I will bring you victory. So, we are getting a bunch of wood now, which is really good. So, we actually have wood income. Thanks to the tech. Uh, now stone income, I suppose. Well, gold actually might be worthwhile, because... Yeah. We're going to have the odd thing with gold, in, uh, gold um, upkeep. And we are never going to have income for gold. So, well, apart from that, apart from the 10 per turn. So it's worth trying to stockpile some now, I think. Because, yeah, we will just be having to live off stockpiles of gold rather than anything else. So, um, Athena will like us if we take that. That'll give us, wow, 12,000 food. Lovely. Uh, 7,000 bronze. So I like that these are giving us more. It seems the longer the campaign goes, the more stuff we're going to get from these. Yeah, like 12,000 food there as well. Only 3,000 wood there, though. Anyway, we're not going to be sacking all this stuff, because this is all Troy, but, you know. Uh, so who is this, anyway? This is Hector. Yeah, Hector's just moving into all the territory that we're taking, which is rather nice. Uh, so, yes, we can just auto-resolve this now. Lovely. This is it. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't look prepared to lead an army. And evidently he wasn't. Okay, brilliant. Still lost 200, uh, I was going to say 200 men. 200 troops. Uh, right. Raise and enslave. You know the drill. Yes. 
Excellent. So, uh, Mayors of Diomedes of Thrace. Ooh. Uh, that's not going to be a mount, though, is it? No, the trouble with beginning a diet of human flesh is no one gets something of a taste for it. So, also, we are reliably informed. Oh, good. Oh, good. So, the hero gains 12% uh, speed uh, in battle with a chariot. That's lovely. And that destroyed the faction. Good. Good. Who's next? Well, we're still at war with these guys, so I guess we'll get rid of these guys, huh? I think we will. Um, although it's just going to be... Oh, the bronze is actually very nice. I don't know what's here, but we can burn that to the ground too. Um, if I zoom out, because I wonder, now that we're getting into the Aegean, it might be nice just to push down here, go for some of the islands, like we can just sort of hop straight over to Greece maybe, you know, and sort of Macedon or whatever, whatever this bit is, Macedonia, and we can just start actually going for some of the, some of the, uh, people that we actually need to wipe out to win the campaign, you know? But, uh, for now, let's take this one out. Uh, we have a level up. So let's level upwardly. Uh, extra melee attack when fighting against, uh, faction of the Danan culture. That's only for the hero. Oh, that just gives us a bunch more armor-piercing damage. Yeah, who cares about having a, like, a little bit of a melee attack boost when I could just boost my damage by a ludicrous extent. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get a heavy weapon. Although there's other stuff that I could get over here too, like Song of Battle. But no, let's just get uh, let's get that for now. Lovely. Good stuff. Okay. And now, let's look at our buildings. What can I get us? What can I get for us? Um, so I've only got three population surplus, so I can only really upgrade stuff. Ooh. Yes, let's get the smiths. Very well. Yeah. Do you like the smiths? Do you like the smiths? Brilliant. Let's get stuck in. Boop. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Hector's just taking all of the territory that we're giving him. We're, we're a very good ally. Okay, they want gold, so no. Get the hell out of it, Troilos. Uh, Adamus wants uh, peace. <laughs> nah. nah, you're worth more to me dead. Blood Oath. Epic mission issued. The daughters of Antiope bathed in blood, their tongues speaking of a vengeful fate. In times past, the queens of the Amazons invoked the oath of unity to muster their sisters in defense of sacred Themyscira. The pledge was never employed to wage a war of aggression, but you know your people will never thrive lest you take revenge upon the murdering Agives. Let the offerings of Ares be made. It is time for the Amazon host to be roused for battle. Oh good, Rightful Fury uh, gives everyone extra campaign movement range. Cool. Poseidon's Frenzied Stallion! That sounds like an anime move. Anyway, the mighty Poseidon that famously despises the city of Troy and yearns to tear down its proud walls, which, according to legend, he was forced to build by Zeus. The tempestuous Olympian often sends earthquakes to the Trojan capital, causing the very ground to shake with rage and throwing its population and armies into disarray. Prior to the disaster, the horses of Troy, recognizing their divine creator's impending fury, kick and neigh, as if the lord of the depth himself spurred a great stallion on the charge of the city's ramparts. Blood Oath. We did it. We did one. We did this earlier. So, yay. Hooray. A bunch of experience and uh, campaign movement range. Lovely. Big fan of that. And also, that was an epic mission. So, actually, if we have a look at this now... Uh, nope, that's the wrong button. If we look at this now... Uh, we've done three of 13 of the uh, hero's epic mission chain. So, that's good. We are, uh, we are making our way through there. We're actually a fifth of the way to battle glory already. Well, just shy of a fifth. But you know what I mean. Sounds good. Although, um, obviously, we haven't wiped out any of these factions yet. Where is the... Oh, okay, it's here. And Athena's there, and Sparta's there. So I guess we're going to make landfall up here, then. Excellent. Uh, for now, though, we did get some experience, so let's go ahead and level up some more. Lovely. Uh, the Nomad's Way. Extra 50% experience received in battle for all units of the army. That sounds ruddy useful. Um, oh, plus 15% charge of all units in the army. I think that's probably better. This lets us get our units all leveled up a lot quicker. Whereas this one just makes them all better, which I like. Extra treasures looted after battle. I like that. And then there's ambushes. We're not really adopting ambushes. We're being quite direct. So uh, let's go with extra treasure, actually. I want that. I want more treasure. And um, 
also more captives. Yeah. I'm sure there are better things to do, but it just feels... It feels thematic for what we're doing. So I'm going with it. Alright, come here, you. I'm glad we are getting some wood uh, income now. Ooh, hello. This looks like an army. That's novel, isn't it? Alright, these guys we are going to have to starve out, I think. What a nuisance that is. Or is it? We could trigger this. And I'd get, uh... Yeah, I'd get nine more units join me. So would it just spend all this? I really have no idea. Not a clue. Let's try it out, I suppose. Uh, upon activation, Bloodspawn Warband units will join the army. Can exceed army maximum. Last for two turns. Set. Uh, when duration ends, battle glory will be set to 50. So it goes back down to 50. Oof. That's a shame. But I think it'd be quite fun to uh, to see this in action. So let's do it. Oh, did that do it? I guess it has. Sami has nine additional Bloodsworn units for the next two turns. All right then, let's uh, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, weather conditions are dry. That'll do. Okay, uh, so here's our Bloodsworn warbands. And, I mean, they seem alright, actually. 64 melee attack. Jeez. Okay, they're pretty damn good. In that case, what I might do is, uh... Let them do it. <laughs> they last two turns. I think we just... Yeah, we just have them run in and kill everybody. So, um... Let's get you guys grouped. Let's get you guys grouped. And let's get you guys grouped. Cool. Alright. Brilliant. Tell you what, uh, you can go in with them. You can go in with them, because it seems a shame not to have all of them go in, right? Cool. And then everyone else I'll just sort of figure out what to do with as we go, I suppose. Cool. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Start the battle. Good. You lot, head that way. Uh, you lot, head that way. I want to see what they're made of. I think they only last two turns, so I may as well just use them as disposable units, because... I don't think we get anything if they survive, right? So we'll just let them get stuck in. See if they can win it. <laughs> just see if they can clear out the enemy army. And uh, then, when all the enemies are tired, then I can run in with my own troops. Obviously, I am sending my, my you know, my um, hero in, but still. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, these, these ladies, I mean, they look stylish as hell, but they don't look like mighty warriors, do they? Don't look like mighty warriors. Like, no hint of armor. No hint of armor or anything. They do look great, though. Alright, come on. Let's, uh... Let's up their speed. So, all these ranged units are going to be a problem. But, that is a hefty charge, so... Big fan of that. Big fan of that. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be working, kinda. What's with this vortex you've found yourself in? Alright, fine, just take him out. Jeez. Your hero is under attack. Yeah, that's intentional. Don't worry about it. Okay, good. When you head that way, whoops. That's annoying. Now I've lost track of them. And uh God, where are they? I don't know who's we moving where now. Whatever, we'll work it out. Uh, right, everyone else want to get involved. Let's get our ranged units in. Because they're always fun, aren't they? They're always a bit of fun. Alright, how are you look getting on? Uh, I mean, you're doing fine. Nothing special. You're doing fine. Yeah, all the ranged units are really causing us some grief. Okay, boop. Don't need extra charge bonus, but that's fine. And you guys move up. You guys move up. How are you not doing? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Wrecked him. Wow. Well played. Well played, my girls. Well played. Yeah, you guys are crushing it. Oh, you go get him as well. Yeah? Cool. Uh, and now you lot. Uh, start shooting those young spears, please. Excellent. Uh, yeah, you guys are getting whittled down pretty hard. Uh, you know, javelins. 
Javelins will do that to you. Okay. Almost got rid of them. Okay, how are things looking? Come on, girl. Yeah, here we go. Much better. Start hacking. Okay, good. Good stuff. Alright, start shooting those bowmen now, I reckon. Okay, it looks like we're pushing on through pretty well here. And, yep. More speed and charge bonuses. Love it. Don't like these guys. You know, living. Didn't agree to that. Alright, you guys head back this way. Yeah, these three units down here have been doing great. Alright, you guys run in. You guys have got through one of the units. One more Victory. to go through. Things aren't it's looking great for you lot, though. Taste. Honestly. But, uh, I gotta say, it's rather nice that we haven't had to spend anything here. Except a bit of health of uh, Penthesilea. You know, that's regrettable. Okay. Alright, come on, axes. Oh, wow, you guys are still moving that way, huh? Awesome. Uh, yeah, you guys keep chasing them. Perfect. And you lot. I guess also just try and move up and around. Love it. Uh, good. Good, you whittle them down. Excellent news. Okay, you guys head this way. You guys keep charging in. Okay, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Cool. Alright, don't like the idea of running spearmen like this, but I might be able to break them just by throwing sheer numbers in there. Often does the job. Alright, come on, girl. What are you playing at? Let's wreck him, yeah? Let's mess him right up. Yeah, you keep chasing. Oh, wow, yeah, you guys are breaking in brilliantly. Love it. They're all shattering. Alright, light swordsman next. They're still going. Yeah, they broke. It worked. It worked. Sheer numbers. Sheer numbers. Just keep piling them on top. And I'll get the job done eventually. And it looks like you have almost won your little duel. Yeah, there goes Agrios. And that'll probably trigger army losses in a sec. Yeah, there we go. It's a job well done. Good job, ladies. Good job. I gotta say, these blood bloodsworn warbands are... Jolly handy to bring to a fight, huh? And another kill for Penthesilea. I think I even said it right that time. Or maybe I'm just migrating further and further away from the correct pronunciation. Who knows? Uh, close victory. Experience. Food. Bronze. Gold. Razor in slave. Delicious. Uh, widely known. Gained by winning many battles. Uh, extra melee attack. Extra aura. More influence in the region. Not that, that matters. We burn everything to the ground every time. So, you know. <laughs> Doesn't matter that much. I think that's their last settlement, isn't it? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Cool. Also, it doesn't look like uh, the, the bonus prizes have replenished over there. So, again, not sure if it actually does or not. Not sure. But, uh, yeah, still plenty of food and things we had over here. Might get some more food. Because that way we can get more of that really good tech, like this one, which I think I might get now, and then go back to gold afterwards, because we are actually earning a bit of food now. Only AIDS, but we're earning a bit of food now. It still counts. <laughs> uh, population surplus. Wow, we're getting plus 27 growth per turn, which is nice. Okay, let's boogie. And again, Hector is just gobbling up all this territory. Are we just going to feed Hector? Is Hector going to become, like, the ultimate badass in this campaign? because of us. Because, I mean, I'm fine with that happening, because he's an ally, so it's all good. And a royal decree has been issued, plus 15% to melee defense of all light infantry units. Our fleet-footed warriors can often be felled with a single blow. Temper them through harsh training, so they may endure. Fully upgrade a horde army. Really? Wow, that's going to take some time. Definitely going to take some time. The might of your burgeoning hordes grows in, sta uh, in stature. Continue their development, and they will turn into an unstoppable force. Good. Let's do that. Let's do that. The things we get for it are... It's a 
terrible prize, considering how expensive it is. To get to the next tier, we need 3,500 wood, 1,500 stone, and 2,500 gold. For the final tier, 7,500 wood, 2,000 stone, and 4,000 gold. Sorry, 400 gold, not 4,000 gold. That would be, that would be truly insane. Um, especially because we can't actually get gold from a gold mine. That would be a little, a little bit mean. Anyway, let's uh, let's get stuck in and, and merc these merc these guys. Apparently, it's not going to be a walk in the park, which is a shame, because uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God, our bloodsworn warband are back to full health. Wow. Okay, guys. Uh, you, now you know. Send these women in first. They're they're fine. They'll handle it. <laughs> they can do it all. Just sit back and let them do it. Uh, cool. Yeah, real cool. Even though there's like heavy javelin throwers. These actually appear to be wearing a bunch of armor, huh? Wow. Bizarre. Bizarre to give javelin throwers such heavy armor. Seems to completely defy the point of skirmisher units. But alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're just going to get stuck in. And we'll just let the let the Bloodsworn Warband do it. If they all die, and I've not made a dent in them, I'll just leave the battle. You know, nothing. I wouldn't have lost anything. So anyway, let's fight the battle. Okay, cool. Start deployment. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, also, uh, because this is a Total War Saga game, these are always doing all the experiments, right? Everything, every new feature that turns up in Total War games, uh, it's often trialed, right? In Saga titles, as you know, that's the trend. That's the trend. And... Are you guys all going to run for the same gate? Yes, you are. Good. Um, this might be a terrible idea. Sending them all into one entrance. Could have just gone over there, or there, or wherever else. This is a cool settlement, by the way. Like, real cool. Huh. Anyway, because it's a saga title, um, I really do wonder if this is going to be sort of... Um, it depends if people enjoy it. Uh, it is going to be the sort of the default for... Um, Horde factions going forward. And I gotta say, I kind of hope it is. Uh, things like the Blood Sworn mechanic. Uh, being able to just summon in more units so you have more units, right? Um, this is a great way to add sort of trash to an army. Um, obviously, these are actually very good units, right? Um, it's summoning some fairly good stuff. But it could be used to summon just like heaps of trash into an army while keeping the usual uh, cap to 20 units, right? So think of, like, the Skaven in Warhammer, for instance. They're known for having, like, billions of rats that are just completely disposable, just random slaves, right? Just malnourished bodies just throw at the enemy. Um, and you could do that just with a button to spend, you know, some whatever resource, food or whatever, and just bring in a whole chunk of just extra slaves to bolster the army, so that way it acts more like a Skaven army, right? You can do the same with Chaos, with Chaos Marauders. So you can have your your main elite force full of Chaos Warriors and Chosen and, you know, all these very your warriors are terrifying, the monstrous boys. And then, yeah, you can just use a mechanic just to bring in a bunch of, like, free Marauders, because it makes total sense. They'd have a bunch of hangers-on. So, you know, it'd be great to see that happen. Because, as well, it's tied to a resource in this case, so it's you know, you get your battle glory, and then it, you know, you spend that on bringing these girls to the fight. It could be the same, you know, you could still have the same thing where it's just sort of like your renown brings more people in. So, I think it'd be really cool. I think this could be a really good sort of uh, template for that, for sure. Do I want to bring her involved? I don't know. I feel like this isn't going as well as the last time, but... We do have, yeah, a ludicrous amount of girls just sat at the gates, not doing anything. So if we just take control of the gates, we'll be laughing. Hey, you guys seem to be doing fine. And, oh, he's getting pretty wrecked. But yeah, as soon as we get control of the gate, we can start pushing in with everything. And, yeah, I think our girls might do it, actually. Looking around the map, there's not that much left. So, there's not much else here. So yeah, if we can get rid of this guy. Oh, and him. Yeah, gotta get rid of him too. Might be a little tricky. 
Might be a little tricky. Uh, so 30%. 30% of the wall's gone. Ooh. Victory is close enough to taste. Good. Good. I like it. You have captured the enemy tower. Well, I mean, at least we got the tower, I suppose. Not this one, though. Not this one. How do we get you? We don't stand there, do we? We got this one from having that top bit Different captured. Routes. That's not bad. Yeah, I do like these have such high melee attack. Like, they're doing very well at killing. I like it. I like it a lot. So, you guys, I want you to try and climb down if you can. That way, the rest of our girls can push in and start chopping through all these guys, huh? They do look really cool. Okay, come on. Keep swinging. I'm also looking forward to when they add the uh, Blood and Gore DLC to Troy. Because they haven't yet. They haven't yet. Uh, is this got yet? Nearly. Oh. Okay, bob and weave, girls. Bob and weave. Oh, God. They don't have much armor, but uh, thanks to the buildings we built, they have a lot more armor than they should, which is awesome. Really good news. Oh, no. I'm not sure if we're going to get it. Or are we? Come on, ladies. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We've so always taken it. So close. So close. Come on, ladies. Oh, no. Yeah, they're about to take it back. Oh, that sucks. So close. Very clever to have more use in reserve coming in and actually trying to stop us from doing that. Also, the amount of uh, ammunition they're wasting on these, like, infinite units of ours. <laughs> It's pretty great. If we don't have to bring the rest of our army in, the enemy's going to be, uh, well, in a terrible way. Also, these guys are rubbish at getting downstairs, huh? Because, yeah, now they're completely sandwiched. And now there's no hope of breaking through here. If we just managed to get that gate, these five units could have poured in and just completely crushed these guys. So well played. Well played, AI. You did it. You stopped me coming in. And, yeah, you better run. Stupid lion-headed Burke. Right. Uh, you have lost a unit. Yep, they're gone. Are these unbreakable? They are unbreakable. Damn. These girls. Oh, they're fantastic. 80% gate damage now. Okay, let's just speed things up a the bit. Foe has captured your tower. Aw, that was my tower. Rude. Okay, we done yet? Come on. 86%. God. Takes forever, huh? You are about to capture the gates. Really? Okay, not anymore. Not even slightly. Okay, we only have six people on the walls. Uh, 97%. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's just pour in, like, lunatics. Don't like the archers. Don't like the fact they still have bowmen here. Really don't. But, eh, they'll be fine. Come on, let me grab one. Yeah, t give me these two units, in fact. Yeah, this is a mess, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, come on, come on, ladies. Come on, keep chopping. Keep chopping. Oh, God. Well, she's having a bad day. She had a very bad day. And good, he's joining the fight. Perfect. Come on, come on, mess him up. Also, should we get should we get a girl in? Let's let's do it. Everyone else is unbreakable, so let's let's get right stuck in, yeah. This seems to be doing the job. And yeah, let's get uh, Pen Penthesilia, Pen Penthesilia, Penthesilia, Penthesilia. Let's get Penthesilia in. Nailed it. Totally crushed it. Anyway, let's um. Yeah, he's having a bad day. And. Okay, good. They're doing well. And now, now they're starting to actually pour in properly. Now that he's broken, which is weird. Okay, come on, guys. And I guess one of you can start attacking those shielded spearmen. Maybe a couple, in fact. A couple of you should be doing that. It's really hard to keep track of where everybody is here. But yep, yeah, it looks like... You have captured the gate. Looks like the blood sworn are doing the job. It really does. It really does. 
And, okay, I don't like that they've got the towers again, but... Oh, good. He's broken. Love it. Okay, come on. Come on, get in there. Oh, good, they're broken. Lovely. In that case, let's climb up there. You guys are having a whale of a time. Hey, you're having a great time pushing them through. Brilliant. And, yep, yeah, they're having a bad day. It's always good to see. Uh, you guys are totally stuck. Can you can you move back this way so I don't have most of the unit just hanging out behind this building? Now we're fighting uphill, which is a bit of a nuisance, but... What can you do, huh? What can you do? Uh, so that's all gone well. Lovely. Okay, good. And now... Come on, let me select you. There you go. Uh, yep, that's all fine. You still, yeah, still chasing them. Lovely. Keep, keep slaughtering. 125 kills for these girls. Wonderful. Yeah, they definitely do the best. And uh, is that gonna be army losses in a minute? Maybe not just yet. They're still fighting. All right. Well, we're getting there anyway. We are getting through them, and once again, just using our free units, which is wonderful. Very nice to put them through the paces, I've got to say. And there's going to be army losses. I can see a lot of their leadership tanking. And yep, bounce power shifting up rather swiftly. And that is a victory. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Brand new city. Ah, oh, isn't it nice that we've captured this city and that we're definitely going to take very good care of it? Ah, oh, decisive victory. Oh, yep, you can do it. Ooh, oh, that just always makes me feel very uncomfortable. Um, so job well done. Job well done. And yeah, these girls killed hundreds of men for us. And uh, we got a bunch of food and a bunch of other bits and bobs. Lovely. And uh, then we're going to raise the settlement to the ground. My skill is proven. And Athena liked that. Athena liked that a lot. Guided by Hades. The shades of death with fate that no man can withstand came over his eyes. Raised multiple settlements, minus three to enemy siege hold out time. That's fantastic. And there goes yet another faction. Cool. So we're going to lose our, um, our blood oath ladies, but can I afford this? I can. Oh, do I spend that gold? What I'm going to have to do, I think, is... I just click the same item again, by accident. Uh, war spoils. Here we go. Where is the nearest gold? Back this way. I'm obviously not going to take this I one. Because this is a minor power. I can't take that. In that case, I'm going to go declare war on him. Because I want that gold. We can get 300, which will pay for that upgrade. So yeah, we're going there next. Perfect. I hate to backtrack, but... Also, I couldn't really care less. So, come here, you. And level 10. Awesome. Let's see. Uh, extra melee defense. Or extra melee attack. Yes, please. Uh, extra melee attack for everybody. And plus 20% to melee attack for Bloodsworn units that already have insanely high melee attack. So, yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that. Yeah, definitely got to pray to Ares. I mean, Ares is our boy. Yeah, he's our boy. That is not practical. I cannot. That's not my army. I was trying to tell someone else's army to make landfall over here, which is pretty funny. Um, I think we're just gonna have to declare war on them and land and besiege them at the same time, because uh, I want to trespass. Because I'm polite like that, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's like Aeneas might be. Nope, nope, he's still loitering over here. I thought he was about to go take over that settlement, but apparently he's not interested. Uh, oh, so the people that I'm about to crush, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, old crab face. Uh, he wants a peace treaty, which is weird. I didn't realize I was at war with you. Or did they just take that settlement? Huh. Either way, no, I want your gold. I want all of your gold. 
Yeah, celebrating victory. Interesting. The Amazons wish to celebrate the might of the hero who led them through peril. They want to honour their leader with a feast, sparing no expense to reward their bravery and perseverance, even in trying times, they say. Heroic deeds have to be acknowledged. They do. Big old bonus experience for uh, uh, Penthesilea, but it'll cost us a bit of food. I'm happy to do that, honestly. Yes. Very much I happy to do that. Uh, so one thing that is a bit annoying Death is uh, our food has suddenly gone down a bunch because upkeep has gone up because our battle glory sucks. So, um, bit annoying. Bit annoying that we need to get that up, but it just means we'll have to raise the odd settlement no to get this up again. <laughs> Easy. Uh, so, come here, you. Come here, you. No mercy. Old, um, Pukote. And we're on level 13 now. Wow. We're on level 10. We've just got three skill points. Flipping heck. Uh, plus 80% damage to all units in Hero's Army. Or extra battle speed for all units. That is a tough decision, actually. Grant a horse ancillary. We could get a horse. Do you like a horse? It would be nice to have a horse. Hmm. We can terrify. I like that. Minus 30 morale. That is gigantic. Or Ares Thunder lowers melee defense by 30% for everything around us. 50 meters around. That is a big deal. And we can lower... So that's melee defense and armor or melee defense and morale. If we had that and terrify. Um, oh, we could thunder armor. That's really cool too. Oh, we can't do terrify. It's one or the other. Yeah, all right, fine. Oh, I see. Oh, I see how it is. Um, oh, that puts up the range. Wow. Um, yeah, I think terrify uh, makes all sense. If we can go with a lot of cavalry, then we can just run people down because they'll be running scared. So that's not a bad idea. Terrify, but also just more damage would be nice. But extra speed is also a huge deal. Although weird that that seems to be the same. Oh, that's siege battles, land battles. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think the speed, though, is pretty huge. Especially if we've got a lot of cavalry, we can just chase people down even better. But the extra damage is a big deal, too. Um, that helps against shielded infantry units, and helps against units wielding two hand weapons. I mean, these are all great. I like that it's at, it actually feels like a choice at this point. Uh, extra charge bonus is also great. And yeah, extra experience gain is great. God. A lot of this stuff is awesome, I must say. Um, yeah, gain rage. Uh, oh, and a horse would be great for her, so she can chase down people a bit more easily. I like that a lot. This is tough. Alright, let's get her a horse. Uh, let's do the... I want them to stay and fight so we can kill them more. Oh, 30 leadership is a big... 30 morale is huge. Let's, do, let's get Terrify, and we'll also get the one that does melee defense. So if they do happen to stick around, we can kill them. Uh, quicker, leading to them running. Cool. So that'll do. We have a melee horse. It's a horse that uses a sword. This hardy breed and not easily unnerved on the battlefield, even while being swung around over the head of the enemies, uh, even deep among the densest, most violent melee. Vengeance all right. All. Oh, can't we reach can there yet. Them. Sad times. Also, I'm pretty sure we can't do any building while at sea, which um, is a pity. Uh, let's... Let's do something. I was going to go gold, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Hang on. I just realised that I, I had left that without a tech. I might have done. I might have done. I'm sure you guys noticed. Anyway, moving on. Hector of Troy. Still just taking all of the settlements that I raise. God, he is profiting so much. Because I'm sure he's got his own campaign going. No, he's not. He's just stood there. So never mind. Uh, you want bronze, and you want to give me wood. I'm happy for that. Absolutely happy to do that. Thanks, Queenie. Alright, so... Boop. Hello there. It, oh, wow, we got... Yeah, people love us. People love us. Uh, well, the gods do. Don't know about people. People are probably livid. Um, so not a bad looking, uh, not a bad looking force here, actually. Not a bad looking force. Bunch of spearmen, bunch of slingers, bunch of bowmen. Yeah. So, I can continue the siege. Because, uh, we basically have no 
battle glory to lose anyway. So I may as well just let that run out and then we can uh, raise it. We can raise the place. Uh, what's our growth looking like? Six. Excellent. So, uh, we need like, oh, seven or eight for these now. Does get more expensive each time. Also, we've still never bothered to build a. Oh, there's a horde growth and casualty replenishment rate. Ooh. Except I think uh, I think we've got to go with uh, berries, don't we? Got to. Got to. I should charge bonus and melee attack. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should do that. We do have a mission to build a temple, so I think that's important. I think that's important to do. Uh, so I haven't looked at this in a while, but we do have some people we can upgrade. So. Uh, let's get some horsewomen, shall we? Excellent. It would be good to get some uh, Stiganores as well, though. But I would like a little contingent of horse, which would be nice. And uh, these ones could probably level up as well, if only we had the buildings, because they've got plenty of ranks. It would be lovely to get some, like, heavy cav. Or oh, medium cav. Actually, I think they're heavy cav, aren't they? Let's have a look. Yeah, they're heavy cav. They're no joke. It'd be very cool. Uh, okay. Embrace your doom. Uh, yes, that was it. I had one thing I wanted to look at. Uh, so this gives us 10 gold per turn. This one gives us oh, 3 gold. I wanted to check this because I knew this gave us a bit of everything. So I wanted to check that I wasn't wasting my time getting 10 here when I get 10 here and other stuff. So Also, uh, hunting dogs gives us extra food per turn but costs us a ton of gold. So it would be nice to get that potentially for the extra food because it would keep our food income. Um, as income, hopefully. Because these cost us more. Like, our income just went down because of that. Uh, ooh, although that could give us 1300 So, yes, we'll destroy that as well while we're here. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, so, once again, we're going to start now. So, let's move. Ooh, what's going on here, then? A group of women in their city ravaged by war approach the camp and ask to join uh, Penth Penthesilea. Uh, the warrior queen knows that these girls don't have anywhere else to go, but some of them burn with desire to prove themselves. Have as laborers, which gives us uh, cheaper construction cost, or accept them as warriors, which gives us a much better casualty replenishment rate. Let's do that. Let's do that. So be it. Any woman who swears fealty to Penthesilea and picks up a weapon in her name deserves to be called Amazon. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, yes, uh, one more it. turn and uh, you will be on half health, so, yeah. We can take them. Moving on. Boop. The Vengeful Hour is another epic mission, huh? Raise or sack Cestos. I've just done that. Please tell me it'll give me this. Otherwise, I can't do it, because Troy's taking it. I can't go to war with Troy. I can't go to war with Hector. That's not a thing I can do. Uh, that would be the worst. Oh, I really hope it just gives me this because I've done it before. I really hope it does. How dare you beg for mercy, you who led the bloodthirsty Athenians to the gates of Golden Themyscira. It has come to light that uh, the sea people of Cher Cherzonesos, once the allies of the Amazons, let the Achaean ships pass through years ago on their way to pillage sacred Themyscira. Rage boils in your warrior's heart. You shall redden the beaches with the traitor's blood as punishment for this betrayal. Thus speaks Penethesilea. I just said, I basically just said penis, didn't I? Penisilea. Penthesilea. Penthesilea. Good. The warrior queen. And not a penis. Embrace oh, doom. just... It, it belongs to someone else. Please abandon that mission. Please. Back. Please, 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 Kill please. Otherwise, the campaign's broken already. That would be bad. I wouldn't like that much. Um, okay. So, these guys are still putting up a bit of a fight, so I'll keep starving Show them. No mercy. <laughs> uh, I cannot oblige. Poor Merops. Poor lad. Uh, peace treaty. Yeah, how about no? Poseidon's anger grows. Farmers of the uh, Troad have become unsettled following a small quake that has struck the lands nearby Troy. Though this tremor did not inflict any significant damage, the priests warn that it was sent by Poseidon himself as an omen of his growing resentment. Clearly, the foul-tempered Olympian is preparing to inflict a devastating earthquake on the Trojan capital, with the intent of sending its mighty walls and proud battlements toppling to the ground. Alright, so... Yep, that'll do. And that's an auto-resolve. 
Yeah, take that, Simba, you sod. Yeah. Can't wait to be king, huh? Which I showed you. Um, so yeah, plenty of food and bronze and gold. Not much gold, only five. Uh, so, uh, this time, we're actually going to get glory from conquest because I want 150. Destroy this place! Cool. Very cool. That has helped out Feel quite a bit. Pain. Though, I still need more. I need to get 200 annoyingly. Grr. Grr. Anyway, confident Victory procedure. Uh, wow. Lowers enemy seat holdout time even more. Uh, nor these can keep, nor these can win the wall. Their manly breasts are pierced with many a wound. That's what I was thinking. Uh, and then we can take this one for the uh, huge amount of food. But we have a lot of gold now. Which is nice. Uh, so we have a level up to do as well. And uh, we can also do this blood oath. So we can get even better. Even better units. Um, so that's really cool. Big fan of that. But that's for another day. Haha, -ha, that's right. The episode ends. The sun sets on the episode. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.